Hey everyone. Recently I was looking to protect my bike from scratches and dents as well as disguise my bike from people potentially looking to steal it. Uh, and what I decided to do was wrap it with an inner tube. And in this video I'll show you how I did it and show you what it looks like when you're done. So here's a closer look at the wrapping and you can see I got, I covered all the large portions of the frame where a lock might touch or where the bike might rest when it's leaning up against something. There was also a large, uh, this, this particular bike is a Salsa Fargo and there was a large Salsa logo right along the tube there and this did a good amount of disguising. As for the wrapping itself, uh, you can tell it's nicely wrapped here and held on by some black zip ties. found those work pretty well. Uh, I left cutouts for the water bottle mounts as well, of course, as the cables you wrap around those and this cable as well. So the only things you need really are some zip ties, an old inner tube, or you can use a new inner tube. Uh, it's just a little more expensive and some scissors. I'll use this bike as a demonstration bike since there's no wrapping on it yet. So the first thing you want to do is set up your inner tube and by doing that you just cut it once then cut your uh, valve off so you just have the tube itself and then you're just gonna cut it split it down the middle and you can do that along a seam I'm just trying to make it a straight cut so it's a nice flat tube. Okay, so once you're done cutting it, you'll end up with something like this, and it's just a long, kind of flat ribbon. Um, you'll, you'll have a bunch of powder on the inside, and you can take that off by kind of rubbing it down with your hand. Uh, you don't really need that, but sometimes it's good because it kind of keeps the frame dry underneath. Um, you don't need an excess though, so just keep a little bit of it. And after you're done with your tube, you're ready to move over to the bike and start wrapping it around. Alright, so moving over to the bike, uh, you want to make sure that your frame is clean because you don't want any dirt or grime underneath the tube. And when you start to wrap it, you'll have the cable right here, or some cables running along your frame. And you always want to make sure the tube goes underneath those cables so that they can still move freely after you're done wrapping. To start out, just kind of move up make sure it's tight and every every time you wrap it you just want to give it a good pull so the first wrap um, make sure it's snug and then wrap it once just around and then the next one kind of thread it through the cable and then pull it through but at a slight diagonal so that you can start moving along the frame. Just like that. So then when you get to the end of your frame, kind of just like you did at the beginning, you want to wrap it around one more time, and then you can kind of just trim off the extra. And I just want to emphasize one more time, when you're wrapping it, it's really important to pull it tight when you're going around the frame. And that's because you don't really want any moisture or water to get under the tubes, because uh, that, that could possibly lead to some rusting of your frame. So then just kind of finishing up, uh, you take two zip ties and you pull it tight and you just zip tie one around the back and then one around the front where you got started and I'm not gonna actually zip tie it because I'm gonna take this wrap off a little bit later but uh, you're pretty much finished there uh, another thing that you can do or you can use in place of the zip ties you can take a tire patch kit and actually rough up the portion of the tube that is the end and then actually glue it on with uh, 
the tire patch kit. Some people like to do that. I used the zip ties just because um, I had them readily available and I found that they would also work fine. So that's how I like to protect my bike from thieves, dents, and scratches. I think wrapping your bike with an inner tube is easy to do, it's cheap, and you can easily remove it if you don't want to have it on your bike any longer. So I appreciate you guys watching and encourage you to check out my other videos. If you're not already subscribed, you can go ahead and click the subscribe button if you're interested in these videos. Like me on Facebook on the link in the description below. And I hope you guys have a happy, had a happy 4th of July. And I'll see you next time.